have the desire to make your own pizza from scratch, then you probably gave up after trying to toss the dough up in the air and, and do it yourself. But here to show us how to do it so that there are no more fails in your kitchen is Joe Bozarth from Fireside Pies. Welcome. Oh, I love Thank Fireside you. Pies. I had my last cheat meal on Fat Tuesday with you guys. Yes. I had so pizza good. and wine. She's, yes, That's she's given up carbs. So so we're just going to tempt her with the smell. Okay. <laughs> and I'll lick all the sauce. I'll eat her share. <laughs> so what are the, the few things that we need to know for sure when we're trying to make our own dough? Uh, when you're making your own dough, a lot of it depends on the temperature of the water and then also with the humidity outside, how much flour you'll need to add versus how cold or hot the water needs to be and then huh. the just right amount of yeast for it. So okay. as you're watching the news in the morning, the weather, you make you check the humidity <laughs> to see how much flour you're going to use we, before you we've get to got, work. We've got experts in the field that help us <laughs> and out. And isn't it because you have to have a certain temperature of water to activate the yeast? Yes, okay. absolutely. And how, how fast or how slow the yeast will develop and, right. and help. Okay, cool. All Let's right, give it. us some all pointers. Right. So, right. assuming that we've got our perfect dough all mixed up. And this should be just about as close as perfect can get. It already looks perfect. There you go, girls. Take one. Hey, like, everybody. can we just cook it okay. like it is? I'll eat that. Here okay, go, so the way we do it at Fireside is we give it a little bit of a slap. A slap it back and forth. This is great if you're mad at somebody. That's right. Yeah, take out all your frustrations. Woo! Here, Stuart, get in here. I don't, I don't think I have a career in pizza making. Keep, oh, you're, a you're just it, getting really A lot of it's big. the okay. weight of the hand or the dough will take care of it for you. Yeah. The, oh, now you're kneading so it? So once you get to that point, okay. you start just with, with your, your knuckles. Fist. Knuckles. Just with your knuckles, just a little bit. Are you spreading it a little bit with your just knuckles? Just a very little bit, really okay. letting the weight of the dough take care of it for you. I see, okay. The weight and of the this dough. This is great. Most people tear them several times by the, this point already. So. Ha, see? Very good. Good job, Lisa. Uh-huh. So the more you just, just oh, keep shoot. Just keep working, keep working. It's shoot. getting, it's shoot. getting really I was thin. On a roll. Yeah, the thin is good, thin in the inside is okay. good. As long as we don't have holes, we're set. No holes, so that's the objective. That's what do you the think objective. about the whole idea of stuffing the crust full of cheese? <laughs> 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 Three right second right. roll. <laughs> I'm not eating Lisa. I was gonna so say, I'm the if winner. you come over to eat, now you know how it goes down in my kitchen. <laughs> awesome, okay. I've not made any holes yet, so can I be done? Absolutely, it's really whatever size you like. Okay, I'm just okay. afraid if I keep going. I really like, like the thin crust destroy. though. I love that you guys do real thin crust, but your outer crust is thick. That's the I goal. like dunking it in that Chipotle ranch that y'all have. <laughs> <laughs> ranch that I have. Oh my God. <laughs> my blood type is ranch. You gotta get a little. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Can That's I just perfect. throw it down there somewhere? Absolutely, Where do anywhere. I we're here, here. There's enough flour here. on there probably to just yeah. Yeah, look there. at that. That looks great. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Pretty dough. I have a feeling though you can make a bigger pizza out of the same amount of dough just because you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, with practice it okay. comes. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I'm gonna have a thick crust. All That'll right. Good. Should we make the girls some pizza? Well, let's do it. Okay. Absolutely. Why don't you two have a seat and we're gonna serve oh, you? Okay, awesome. This is my kind of job. Okay, now this is the part that makes pizza making fun. Especially, you know, if you've got the kids in the kitchen or you've got people over for dinner, I love the idea of putting out the dough and just letting everybody make their own. Absolutely, with absolutely. Their so what I brought today was uh, the toppings to make our uh, burrata mozzarella pie that we sell. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is our fresh ragu sauce, our tomato sauce that we use for our really lighter style pies. It's not actually ragu. No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's just, that's just that's, our terms. At my house, it would be out of a jar. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, yes, but uh, this is really just more of our light, light sauce that we use. If you want to. And is this um, is this basically like a traditional cheese yes, pizza? Yes, yes, yeah. It's well, it's it's got a little bit of a twist to it too. Because we're going to add the burrata mozzarella to it when it comes out of the oven. I like okay. extra sauce on mine, please. <laughs> extra sauce. Okay. <laughs> that looks pretty. That's good. all you get. Okay. 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 Fine. Should I should I do? Oh no, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we don't want to make Megan one, she'll get tempted. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat the cheese and the sauce on someone's pizza. <laughs> so, so the way we'll do the cheese is just with the grater, natural oh. grater here. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll do this well, very much in wow. the old way of doing things. Do, so do you do each of the pizzas at the at the fireside pies like that? You shred them you all can separate? No, no, we, we, we top all of our pies with fresh oh grated mozzarella. God. So every pie gets a topping of this. So yes. you're there early in the morning and you grate getting, all the cheese. Getting ready. Yes, absolutely. We do everything in house. How uh, many pounds of cheese do y'all grate a day? Oh gosh, at least 75 to 80, depending <gasps> on what day it is. Some days a little bit more. Cheese. Here, let me do that. And do you do that by hand? <laughs> or do you do wait, this wait, No, we have a little nice bit of equipment machine. that helps. Uh, However, with this Parmesan, it is more delicate, so we yeah. do tend to do that more by hand. Oh, because you can tell. Look how fresh that is. Yum. That's beautiful. 
Nice. I love cheese. Now, do you oversee all the locations, or? Yes, ab yeah, absolutely. Okay. All four. We have four locations in DFW uh -huh. uh, throughout the Metroplex, and then our Grapevine and Plano locations are actually open for lunch now. So that offered oh, okay. a little bit more opportunity Ooh, for some tomatoes. exposures. Ooh, tomatoes. Yes. So we make these in house as well. Mm, I can tell those are fresh, and they're not completely sun dried. They're like partially sun dried. They're just so, so nice and moist. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Lisa doesn't like that word. Oh. But it looks so good. <laughs> they look perfect. Like, how long does it take you to, to dry those out when you... Uh, really only about two hours or so. Oh, really? Uh, to set with some of the ovens that we use. Okay. How we'll come you're only putting a few of them on? This is just for the base tops, and then when we add the mozzarella oh. and the pesto, that's where the rest of it oh, comes in. Oh, okay. okay. Is that going to happen here? Abs uh, actually, this is the finished product before it goes in the oven. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, so we'll put this in the oven, and then, and then we'll going grab, from yep. there... We have so you pull it out. Actually Ooh, pulled. look how pretty that is. Oh, oh my god, that looks product. so good. So this isn't ready to eat? You want more on it? We're going to add more to it. That's yeah, what we're yeah. Gonna we are. We're going to get a bite of that. Not oh ready Oh my yet. god, look at that fresh burrata. Oh. So this is the How are we going to slice this thing? Because we're going to have to eat some of so it. So it's got to go back in the oven. We're not quite done here. Oh no, this is it. This oh, is it. This, yeah, this, you, this cheese is served cold. Do you make your own mozzarella then? Uh, that's something that's currently being talked about right now, but no, we source it. from This <laughs> oh, one is sourced from California. I was going to say bet. Dallas Mozzarella do Company. Basil we do too? use Dallas Mozzarella Company. Absolutely. Okay, so good. That's oh my beautiful. God, I just want to lick the okay, thank you, Fireside We're going to have you cut this up for us so we can taste it. Yes. And, um, let me just tell you all to find the closest Fireside Pie. You just head to their website. It is firesidepies.com. Oh, it's good. never a disappointing meal when you go. It's always it's delicious. Not. It's oh, a treat. yeah. Bring it over here. It's a great place to take the family, too. Here, yes. Amy, taste. Yeah. Okay. okay, from royalty to religious scriptures, they've been admired for thousands of years. We'll learn more about the prize pearl when the broadcast returns. Oh, my God.